I'm the main character. The story starts with me, and my backstory features into a lot of the main storyline. Yes, but when the world ends, the story focuses on me, and hello? Iconic opera scene? It's no contest, ladies. I'm clearly the main character. I own a castle, after all. And I have the most dialogue in this parody. I have a love subplot with Celes, and the game starts in my hometown. No offense, Locke, but if we don't go into Phoenix Mountain, we never even find you. In fact, you and Terra are completely optional. We could storm Kefka's tower without either of you if we want. Need I remind all of you, I am the source of both airships in this game. You can't even get to the end without me. Guys, I can settle this right now. I'm the main character. See? I'm on the cover of the game! Well, there's no arguing with that. I thought this was Final Fantasy VI. What's happening? <laughs> what? Where did you go? <sighs> <sighs> I bet I'm gonna get blamed for this. <laughs> Why, hello there, sexy. Your Majesty, we seek refuge from the Empire. Uh, the Empire comes here all the time. I'm allied with the Empire, but secretly a rebel. Remember? Oh. Didn't think of that one, did ya? Shall we hide her here anyway? Sure. She's hot. There's sand on my boots. Right away, sir. There's also sand in my butt. Uh, right away, sir. Give me the goddamn girl! Jesus, man! No need to set my castle on fire, you dick! Okay, Terra, myself, Sabin, and Bannon will head to Narshi. Locke, you go be useless somewhere else. Where shall I go? Uh, go sneak into a heavily guarded and dangerous enemy territory. Will that help the rebellion? Sure, why not? <coughs> Thanks! The secret entrance is downstairs! Uh, just guess the password! I don't know, f you! I got my cider! You'd betray the very powerful Empire for a bottle of cider. Hell, it took your dick for some whiskey! Where's the nearest liquor store? Yaha! It is I, Altros! Or Arthos, depending on the translation. Also! Holy shit, look at those boobs. Wait, you're an octopus. You can't live in this river. You're a saltwater creature, and this is fresh water. I'm a talking purple octopus with teeth that's weak to fire and pervs on women of all ages, and that's your problem with me?! An octopus doesn't belong in a river. Good day, sir. Keep a close eye on her. Will do! I can sleep for days! Don't you mean go for days without sleeping? <laughs> Whatever, I'm gonna leave without locking this door. Oh, uh, hey. Eh, go ahead. What do I care? Kefka, wait! Wait, he says. Do I look like a waiter? <laughs> Sorry. You're freaking nuts, man. Screw this. We're Cyan and Shadow, by the way. Let's jump down this gigantic waterfall! Yeah! I must go now. For gameplay balancing purposes. Weirdo. What do you think Gao does when we let him leap on an enemy? I have no idea. We always look away and move on when we do. Let's watch. I genuinely want to know. <laughs> Go. Kefka! Did you poison an entire castle's water supply to kill them? Maybe. Oh, I can't stay mad at you. Come here. The time is now! We will crush the rebels here once and for all! Go forth! 
advance slowly towards them, one by one, in random directions. This will totally stump those rebel scum. Time to make haste towards Gidor. Hmm, what vehicle shall we take? I know, let's take the castle. Huh? They're sand in my eyes, ears, crotch, and ass. Who travels like that? It's all over the place. How can you live like this? I'm never here, so I don't. Besides, I'm a king. The whole point of my job is to get others to clean up my mess. We will replace Maria with you in the opera. Seta will never be able to tell the difference. Uh... Is he a complete and utter moron? Possibly. I mean... He fights using cards and dice, and uses the only airship in the entire world to persistently ruin our opera. I mean, that's pretty sad if you ask me. Well, time to show the world my incredible singing talent. This is f***ing terrible. I paid good money for these tickets! You suck! So you want to end the war all of a sudden, and you want us to trust you just like that and work together? <laughs> I foresee no way this could possibly go wrong. My name is Strago, and this is my granddaughter, Realm. Don't you mean daughter? No, I said granddaughter! What kind of idiot would make that mistake twice? Don't get fresh with me, sonny. Wow, she's hot. She's ten. Is that like Japanese ten, where she's like thirty? Or... I want you out of my house. Burn it all! Burn the town to the ground! How did you get out of jail? The Emperor gave me an official pardon! But he called a truce! How could he lie and write to my face? You fool! The main villain calls a truce and jails his insane lackey a few hours into the game and you thought that was how it ends? You're cute! Paint me like one of your French octopies! And I just move this one here, and scooch this one a little over here, and just move this one, uh, here, and ta-da! One messed up world, unlimited power, and unrivaled tyranny at your command. And that's how you win. Any questions? <sighs> Any questions not about using time travel to win? No? Good. Well, we've given him three minutes. I don't think he's coming. Let's go. Hang on, he might turn up at the very last second. Come on, no one is going to cut it that close. Let's go. If I wait until the last second to get on the airship, I'll look super badass. Fuck! I brought you more fish to make you feel better. <laughs> Hey, check out all this awesome swag I swiped from the chest in there. My boy! Where's my little boy? Uh, little boy? Oh, you stupid bitch! I am not Jared, you see. I am, in fact, Edgar. Edgar! I knew it was you! Well, duh. All I did was put on a slightly different colored outfit and pretend not to know you, moron. Here it is, the Falcon, Daryl's ship. I reconstructed it here in her memory when she died. Whoa, Daryl is a woman? 
We've been thinking she was a dude this whole time. Daryl is a man's name. Of course she's a woman! What, you thought I was gay? Well, a bit. Yeah, I mean, you have that long white hair. And that fabulous outfit. And you wear lipstick. I'm trying to have a poignant moment here! Wow, stuck looking after a bunch of kids. You really got the short end of the stick with this whole end of the world thing, huh? Kill me! Cyan, you old dog. What are you doing all the way on top of this mountain? I'm writing letters to a girl pretending to be her dead boyfriend. Nice. Is she hot? No, no, it's it's not like that. It's it's a noble cause. I'm keeping her sense of hope alive. Don't worry, man, I get it. I've let on plenty of girls to get some tail. Don't be so vulgar! Hey, she's been sending you nudes. Nice. Just sleep it off. You'll be fine. Uh, who are you? It's me, Terra. Ugh. You really let yourself go. Here, Strago. Equip this weapon. What is it? It's a healing rod. What does it do? Well, it heals whatever it touches. But I can already do that. Well, yeah. Without a rod. I know, but... In fact, we all can heal without rods. It's a healing rod. Boop. Hey, Terra. Aren't you supposed to have green hair? Happy? No, I don't like it. Stop that! I found it! Locke, there you are. What are you doing here? I came here to find Phoenix so he can revive Rachel. Oh yeah, I totally forgot you had like a dead girlfriend or something. Locke, stop feeling guilty. Also, you kept my dead body in a basement instead of burying it? Ew! Well, that was a monumental waste of time. Haha! <laughs> Take that! Okay, Setzer. We gave you a chance to get a proper weapon. You're out of the main party. Go join the others. Aw, man! Go, where are you? Here, Go! Go, where are you? Go, where are you at, little buddy? Sir Gao, Sir Gao, wherefore art thou, Gao? Go, 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 no go with them. They have way more than four party members. Whoa, look at that thing. It looks extremely dangerous, and would probably eat us whole. I say we leave it alone and never come back here. Agreed. I'm sure someone will turn up any day now. This is Zomaro! He is my friend! He can join our team! I don't know. This team is getting a bit big. And ridiculous. I've already forgotten half their names. Let's see, there's that pansy-ass thief, the half-esper emo freak, my dumb-ass brother, an asshole ninja, Uncle Macbeth, soppy tits, the gay gambler, that stupid animal kid, the old fogey, old fogey's annoying-ass kid, that stupid cat thing, some robed moron who copies everyone, a pompous egotistical king, and now you want me to add a stupid yeti to the mix? Why are you all staring at me? Excellent! I've seen him use it, now I can use bad breath! Come on, Strago. You don't have to make excuses for it. Just brush your teeth once in a while, you know? Screw you, Whippersnapper! Feed me! I'm hungry! More! More! What am I doing with my life? Okay, guys. This is it. Let's take the fight to Kefka himself. Well, that was easy. See? If you could obliterate towns at that thing, you could have stopped them ages ago. I mean, it's not rocket science. I don't think I like your attitude. 
Right. We have our three teams of four. Let's go get Kefka. What about us? Uh, stay up here and be useless? <laughs> I've done it! I've won! The world is mine! I am a god! <laughs> well, clearly there's no way we can step in. We give up? All hail Kefka? Yeah? Okay, we're all agreed. We did it, guys! We defeated Kefka and saved the world! No, not really. The world is still a shithole. Half the towns don't exist anymore, and horrible monstrosities still roam the planet. Uh, but... we can still rebuild! It's the end of the game, Celis. Just... let it go. Roll credits!